We recently budgeted our way through a personal finance emergency. And truthfully, it was budgeting that saved us. It made it more of like a minor inconvenience rather than a true financial crisis like some of our friends and coworkers were dealing with. But one thing I realized as we were going through this is that there are actually a ton of different financial emergency types, like different levels of crisis and different things you should do. And even the same crisis can evolve from one level into another level into another level. So today I wanted to talk to you about the different types of financial crises, crises, crises. I don't know, the different types of financial emergencies and how to handle them. This video is super important for everyone because a personal financial crisis can happen to anyone at any time without warning or it could have warning even. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. So my husband Mauricio and I just went through a major, minor, major personal financial crisis. It actually started out minor and then kind of grew into major, but never fully went into major because we always had money saved and ready to go should we need it. So let's go over the different types of personal financial emergencies. Personal finance emergency number one, there is no crisis, but there could be a crisis in the future. A good example of this is if you are in a career field that is unstable, maybe people get fired a lot in your career field and you just want to be prepared. In this personal finance emergency situation, you want to have a hefty emergency fund enough to get you by however long you feel you need to get by. And it's entirely dependent on the risk of instability. The higher the risk that you're going to lose your job or whatever, the, the more money you should have saved up. Personal finance emergency number two, the crisis is looming. A good example of this is maybe you just got pregnant and you don't have a crisis yet, but what if something goes terribly wrong? Or maybe you know that job layoffs are coming down the pike and you could get laid off. So in these situations, if you don't have an emergency fund set up already, it is wise to go ahead and rather than putting all of your money to debt, start stockpiling some of that money for an emergency fund because emergencies happen no matter where you are in the debt-free process and you need to be prepared for so it. So you wanna take this money and just set it aside. You don't wanna invest it. You don't wanna put it in an account that's hard to get to. You wanna have it there easily accessible. Just don't spend it. And remember, this money's just gonna sit there until the potential crisis is gone. And once it's gone, you're gonna take that big old pile of cash and you're gonna put it on whatever you are doing with your finances. You're gonna put it on debt or you're gonna put it into you know your long-term investing. Whatever you choose to do, that's where you're gonna put that money. So it's just gonna sit in your bank account for a little while. Personal finance emergency type number three, the crisis is starting. A good example of this is when your monthly outgo exceeds your monthly income. So the first thing you're going to do when you're hitting this type of crisis is you're going to figure out what kind of crisis is it going to be. Is it going to have a major financial impact or is it going to be a minor financial impact that maybe you can budget through? You are gonna need to consider using your emergency fund for this kind of stuff. Now, if you're like us, you don't wanna ever touch your emergency fund. I'd touch my sinking funds before I touch my emergency fund. I'm not even joking, but it, you need to look and see what kind of crisis you're gonna have because sometimes you have to pull money out of the emergency fund. What kind of crisis was it? Was it your car broke down and you have to have some major repairs or was it a death in the family and a loss of income? I mean, there are very different levels at the very beginning of a crisis. So the next types of personal financial crisis, the crisis is here and it's happening and you are in the middle of it and you need to figure out how to deal with it. So let's walk through those. Personal finance emergency type number four, 
is a minor emergency. This is like your car broke down, you need a new transmission. It's a financial expense, probably a massive one, but it's a one-time, one-month sort of thing. And you can probably get through it by tightening up your budget, don't do any extraneous spending, and pull some money out of your emergency fund. These kind of expenses you can actually plan for by having sinking funds. We personally have a car repair replace sinking fund because cars break down all the time and we want to be prepared for it. Personal finance type number five is a moderate crisis. A good example of this would be the loss of one income in your family. You would need to go over your budget, cut out all the fluff, bring your expenses down to the bare minimum, and you know, pay what you have to pay to survive. This would be where you're paying, you know, your food, your lights, your shelter. And hopefully you can do that on just one income. So if your expenses far exceed your income, you move on to personal finance emergency type number six, full on crisis mode. An excellent example of this would be a full loss of income or if your expenses are so far outweighing your income. So it's at this point that you would make your calls to your creditors and explain to them exactly what's going on and see if they can work with you. And I know from personal experience, this last crisis, that if you have a good payment history, they are kind most of the time and will work with you. Not everybody, but a majority of places will work with you for a few months until you can get back on your feet. Because in truth, they want their money and they know if you're starving and you can't pay them, you're not going to pay them. So they want to work with you and help you through your crisis. Now, when we were going through the government shutdown, we actually went into full crisis mode towards the last two weeks because we did not know how long it was going to go and we did not know how secure Mauricio's income was. So we decided for the last two weeks in January, uh, we just buckled down and and went into full crisis mode. And if you stay in full crisis mode, you're going to have to use your emergency fund, but that's why it's there. And then once you recover from your crisis, it's time to plan for the next one. Mauricio and I are learning very quickly that this kind of stuff can happen to anyone and you have to have a plan for it. So we're going to plan for it and you'll see some drastic changes because of it. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.